Hey guys, welcome back to Virginia Buck Wild Outdoors. We got Peyton, Dad. Today is the first day of youth deer season here in Virginia. Jordan's at soccer. Well, she's not at soccer now because it's six o'clock in the morning. She's in bed sleeping, isn't she? Yeah. That's where you wish you were. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go sleep in a tree stand for an hour. So it gets sunrise at 7 o'clock. We're at the uh, piece of property out at the hunt club we're going to go to. Um, overlooking a two-year-old cutover. So we're going to sneak down in the woods and go get up on our tree stand and see what things look like once the sun comes up. We're going to get a big buck or a doe today. Hmm. We're going to get whatever, huh? Either or, we're not picky. We want to get first one down. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's get skedaddling and uh, we'll see what it looks like. seen some tracks up and down the road so hopefully we get one right all right I get one. okay well it's a joint effort <laughs> all right so there's multiple things that have happened on this video one we lost one microphone down underneath the tree stand Two, I think the microphone Peyton's wearing isn't on. So, what you're hearing is audio from the microphone underneath the tree stand, which is not very good. Uh, to make it short, we're hot. It's bright. We didn't see anything. So we need to get out of the sun. It's like 80 degrees today. So we're talking about how we're going to go walk down to the creek and check out the water and see what the swamp looks like because that might be a good spot to go hunt this afternoon and uh, try and figure things out. So we're going to go do some scouting. And we'll go ahead and flip that video now. Alright guys, so we're down here scouting and I'll uh, show you a little bit of some of the tracks we found. What are those tracks, Peyton? Show me. These are coyotes. Coyote? Why would there, why would there be deer tracks next to coyotes? Think the coyote was chasing the deer down? Yeah. But if you look, the deer are coming towards Dad. The coyotes are going back towards the truck down that way. So they just happen to be close to each other. All right, we'll get moving down the road and see if we can find some more cool stuff, huh? Yeah. All right, guys. We're out here on our evening hunt. We need to switch spots. You can see behind us there are some soybeans. And we have this spot here. There's a nice heavy trail there coming in. And then we got a nice heavy trail there coming in. So hopefully you can hear us, because it is kind of windy. Which will hopefully work in our favor. Mm -hmm. But I hope it's, I get a big buck. Uh, 4.30 gets dark about 7 so we're just going to kick back here and chill see what happens hopefully we report back with a big buck down big buck yeah. so this is a heartbreaking thing to see we got two bucks on the neighbor's property and as ethical hunters we don't shoot them because it's not our property and we don't have permission to shoot there but it's a cool video and it also gets your blood boiling a little bit and pumping because you know that there's a deer within 70 yards and that all he has to do is come over to your side of the property and then you'll get him. But it's a good video and it's the first time me personally I've seen a deer uh, make a rub or lay down scent on a rub 
if you watch the little buck in the background here in a few minutes we'll go over to one of the trees and rub it up and down and uh it's it's the way it goes that's hunting for you but um i'll let this clip play out and you get to see what we see Yep, and you guessed it. There they are. More deer on the neighbor's property. Just out of reach. But it's always a good experience to see deer. And it's always fun. So, I'd rather see deer and not shoot them than not see any deer at all. It just shows me that we're in the right spot. We just need to adjust a little bit. But, for now, we'll sit here and Watch these beautiful creatures walk through the beans.
something. So let's flip you around so you can see. Start over here. It's a nice, awesome spot for a bow. <laughs> Trail goes up that way. guys welcome back we are now at day two on our second hunt or our evening hunt we are sitting just in front of some beans back there this is not the same place we sat last night even though we've seen a lot of deer this place we think we can get deer coming down this main pipeline as long as miss Peyton can hold her aim true <laughs> She can shoot a deer as far as she can see. I'll flip you around and show you. So you see that? Zoom in. Way down there. As far as she can see. If she can see a deer, we can hit it. So she has not been practicing that far. There's a little water spot that's about 75 yards, which is usually where the deer come out. And that's about where we think she would be good at. But if they walk to us, we're going to let them come, right? So hopefully they're hungry for some beans tonight. And we can uh, get them as they come down the road. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Is it going to be a big buck or a little doe? Big buck. Big buck. All right. But we'll settle for anything. <laughs> right? Yeah. Big buck, big doe. Just not a baby. Yeah, we're not going to shoot any babies today. We're going to let them get a little bit bigger. But hopefully they don't sneak past us and we have to watch them like last night, right? <laughs> but alright. So it's uh, 4.55. We're going to go ahead and quiet down and get ready. We'll get our camera set up, get our headphones on, and we'll be ready when they come out. Jordan and Pop, they're just down from us. They're hunting on the same side down the road a little ways up kind of where the bean field meets the trees and there's a small cutover back there uh, historically the deer have always crossed through there too so Jordan should have some footage on her phone so we'll flash into her and we'll see what she says
Well, this is a shot of where the deer had crossed right there by the sign. Unfortunately, we didn't get on it with the camera fast enough and it slipped through. Um, but it's also a good long ways out there, probably through 250 yards. But this is going to wrap it up for this episode of Virginia Buck Wild. No deer for us. So check with us next time. Thanks and goodbye.